Okay, person, hello, welcome, welcome to the stream. Today I'm gonna be working on more feedback from the beta version. Yes, I'm slowly getting through my list here of things to do. The next thing I'm gonna do is make a little autosave animation. Achievement, this is it. Yep. Yeah. Huh, it looks like we're close to having this finished actually already. It's perfect as it is. Lorem ipsum blubbity bubbity do. That's ruined, it's saved. There we go, cool. Okay, but the font. It's just so funny seeing this. We need one more pixel down here. Let's see what it looks like. Whoa, way too saturated. I kind of like the blue one better. Okay, okay, I've been messing with this too much. Let's flush, right? Oh, save on flush. We do systems. I think we can go to the forge and buy something. Scroll of Polaris for sure, buying that. Saved! Oh my god, the saved fonts. I love it. I love it so much. Let's hack it out. Gotta hack this thing. That's a good question. It does have that uh, that confirmation, right? When you're about to buy something, it says, are you sure you want to buy this? This is announce the current dungeon. And then right here, we'll do show that we saved already and save. Okay, here we go. Hack86, I love your name. It reminds me of 286, 386, 486, 586, the Pentium. Oh my gosh, Pentium class. Yeah, there we go. Now it's coming this funky saved icon. I love that. I love this saved icon. It's so funny to me. Why didn't it look a little pixelated? It's been a while, brother. It's been a long time. January 4th is going to be the next demo date for a Wraithbinder, so... There'll be another public thing where anybody can join in. So it gives me a whole month to make this game better and improve things so that people can enjoy more of it. We need to make this look more, more 3D. And secondly, the font is funny, but it's... Ugh, I don't know. These guys were like supporting me, watching the streams, back making the Songbringer like five years ago. Four horsemen. Things are things are still still well in wizard foo land. Oh gosh, I'm, I just realized I'm taking a long time to do one little thing. I started off this stream like, hey, look at my list, look at these things I'm gonna do, and I, I'm on like thing number one still. But that's typical wizard foo. There, Def definitely looks more 3D now. But is it the right color? What color is it? The font is hilarious, but it's it's not very sci-fi. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm sentimental, so I'm keeping a copy of it. We gotta take away the exclamation point. We might as well just use the game's font. Open up. Open up the font font? Or do we want the big, large font? Yeah, there we go. One of these S's. S. Look how nice that S looks compared to this. Merge these together. Whoa, hey, whoa. Alright. It's looking good. What we'll do is this. We'll take this hue here. And this is make this 68. Okay, and let's make this darker. Pop a little more. Looking good. I want to paint myself in this color. I want to paint all my walls in 252-232523. So instead of doing all this, we just want to go auto scale equals 0.25 ish. Who cares how big it is? Okay, let's see this again. Oh, we need 0.5. It works. It works, right? It's functional. Shows me when it saves the game. Okay, we've got that set up. So let's see what this looks like now. I know the game is saving right when we use the elevator, but I just I like the fact that it shows you that icon once you get to the next dungeon. Okay. Sweet, that worked there. Cool, it didn't show me the icon there. And it should show it to me here. Nice, I like it. That's really cool. I love it. Let's get this checked in. We can commit the art and commit the code. This looks great. Show a save icon when the game is saved. Cool, okay. They'd be like, it'd be so cool if Wraithbinder would save your progress. And then people didn't know that it already does. If you can sit, you can just leave the dungeon even though it's a it's an action roguelite game like Hades or Binding of Isaac or something like that, it's 
It saves your progress. It's different. Make the forge smart enough to clear its trigger after you use We meditate. We go into this menu where we can upgrade our character and stuff. And then we exit, and you can't use the meditator anymore. It seems like you can't. Right? You have to walk off of it to untrigger it and then walk back on to trigger it again. As a player, it's very confusing. You're like, what just happened? I can't use this anymore. I can only use this once? So let's fix that. Let's make it so when we come out of one of these menus, it goes into the... It basically untriggers... I think we need to untrigger. Hold on a second. Let's just try clearing all hold like this. And untr untrigger. This is a man. We need to manually untrigger. We really need a function for this and move system. Oh, look, I started something for this. Untrigger entities? Oh, gosh. Okay. I already wrote this function. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it when I already wrote the function I need. Why did I comment that out? Oh, wait. Oh, wait there. Calm down there, Vimmer. You're vimming too fast there. Slow down your vimming. You need to vim more carefully. Can't just be willy-nilly with your vim all over the place. Look at you, you're making a mess. You're vimming too much. Okay, here we are. Da -da, we use the meditate. Exit the menu. Oh, God, I love it when things work on the first try. What, what? That just worked. My brain is a faulty processor. Okay, let's make this a little smarter. There we go. We got a function now called get trigger entities for E. Pass in the AIDS. And now we can take this code and go blah blah and put it with the other bit of code there. We re-trigger any needed entities. Put that in your compiler and lint it. Put that in your linter and sift it. S sifting's not a comp compilation thing. Okay, meditate. Wonder why. Meditate again. Oh, this is great. Meditate endlessly. Perfect. Oh, this is all I want to do. This is the best game ever. Just keep using the menu. Forge. It worked. Great gods of wraith binding. Yes. Oh, that's the. Oh man, this makes you feel awesome to do that. Okay, so cheat and go to the ending. Where is this? There it is. Less code, the better. Wait, why did we include... Oh, there's one little mistake I made there. I included the input system twice. Don't need to do that. This is crazy. Who includes the input system twice? So I do need to work on the art style. This is not really the art style. It's more of just the particle systems. But related to that. Thank you for, the, thank you for your comment. Just checking it in. This is a really simple commit. Look at that. Look how simple and clean this commit is. Oh, I got an idea. Let's check one more little thing there. As soon as we start... Oh, I was supposed to stand on that thing there. Stand there. I've got my controller. I'm using an Xbox controller right here. Let's, um, let's tune this up. I want to try turning it way down first. Like only a tenth of a second. That's much better. I can now blink and immediately use my blade. So... Attack link. That didn't work. It's not at all working how I was expecting it to. The simplest thing we could do is just change up this whole vector. Oh, hey, that worked. I get it. I understand what's going on now. Let me draw a little picture. I'll illustrate. We started off our timeline, right, where we used the blade. Hey, the beta went really well. It. We ran the beta from October 15th to about November 1st. Tons of amazing feedback. My whole my list really nice and long. Look at all these things I need to get done. We're like. 200 lines of stuff to do, 300 lines of stuff to do. Are we only at 500 now? Oh, we're down to 500. This is really great. It used to be 750. Cool. Anyways, people sent me videos of their gameplay. It was incredibly helpful. And now there's going to be another demo version coming out January 4th. You can wishlist Wraithbinder on Steam now. So you started using the blade. And it set a cooldown for the blink. So this is a cooldown. And then in, after the cooldown was over, it started using the blink. That's why we were able to use both those abilities. This is isn't this, isn't this really, really clear, this drawing I did right here. This is like really excellent, really clarifies what's going on. I could, you know what I mean? I could, I'm a really great artist. I really should, I really should do this for a living.
I could submit that to the museum, the local museum right here. There you go, boom. Put this on your wall. Let's play around a little bit more with this. Well, that was cool. Why did it truncate? These guys, they're attacking this clock door. Really smart, guys. I know you're, I know you're really eager to get through there, but seriously. You're good, you're good, you're not gonna make it. This is something I need to work on. Okay, let's <laughs> ignore that for a second. Everybody stop looking over there at those guys. Wait, what? Oh, uh, okay, 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 okay. I'm wasting time here. This is, let's get to the heart of this. Okay, let's see how this feels. This means that I can use Blink and Blade at the same time. This is obviously going to be empowering as a player. I just don't want it to be something that you can cheese the game with. Oh, I remember now. I remember something that was important. The reason I did this. Because you could just use... Yeah, look at this. You can wreck things by just pressing two abilities at once. This is friggin' you can cause so much chaos. It's cool, it feels great actually as a player, but it's it just allows you to cheese the whole game. What I was doing there is I was pressing blade and blink at the same time. You could see how much devastation I was able to wreak. You need these these mutually exclusive ability cooldowns. However, we might not need to make them so long. Like, here I'm setting it to point 0.1. Let's try this out now. Yeah, that's better. You can't press both the buttons at once. We're gonna go to fight the boss now. We've got this exclusive cooldown to set to point 0.1 instead of more than point 0.1. We're basically just tuning how many milliseconds elapse before you're able to use another ability. Whoa, did I lose that much health already? Whoa, how did I die that fast? Skip scenes? No. Don't skip the scenes. I want to see all the scenes, man. Give me every scene you've got. I want to be entertained. This is not entertaining. There's more entertaining, man. I need more entertainment in my life. That's what I got you game for. Oh, the music's off. Really helps with music. Wow. This actually feels a lot better. Now that I can use an ability a lot faster, Feels really good. Let's confirm all this and check this in. Yeah. I'm doing the same thing I was doing just a couple seconds ago where I would press the blade and then immediately press the blink button. And it does what I expect it to. I get an attack off with my blade and I also do a blink. And I'm pressing it really fast. I'm imagining that's under 200 milliseconds. Or I could press them exactly at the same time and it still does it because of the cooldown super cool and then blink and blade blink and blade blink and blade yeah that's really awesome I can use the blade right after I've blinked it's actually kind of skill shot right where you're look how cool that looks actually I'm gonna slow down time blink blade oh that that time it worked yeah that's cool okay I really like that okay there person thanks for watching today's stream thank you again people playing the beta that was really great there's gonna be another beta, January 4th, or demo, or something like that. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back next Wednesday, making it better. Thanks to you. Thanks again, player. Check you next time.